The contention about the Bukasa land seems to be going deeper by the day. There are three categories of residents in the area which the government has earmarked for the standard gauge railway line and an inland port. There are those who claim to have come there as a result of the war in Luero in the 1980s and that the government allocated them the land. There are those who claim to have been veterans and got the land through the Veterans Assistance Board, while there are those who bought the land from the above two groups. Although the government insists they should be evicted, they have appealed to the President against the action, insisting that they should be compensated. The President recently visited them and explained the importance of the projects to be established there to them and to the nation as a whole. In 2012, the residents attacked Works Minister Abraham Biandala when he went there to explain the desire to establish the inland port. The residents who could had listened to the minister's submission regarding government's plan for the area vowed not to leave, saying they were comfortable there and not ready to receive compensation as suggested by government for the affected residents. We are not making sense of what you are telling us, minister. All we want is our land. We are not ready to lose it to anyone, one of the residents in the audience shouted to the minister. The Minister of Works and Transport surveyed the area and identified 309 acres of land in Bukasa. Out of the 500 acres, government wants to set up a dry inland port in the area. According to documents by the Ministry of Works, a survey was undertaken in close collaboration with the local leaders of Bukasa to identify the land for the construction of new Kampala port, Bukasa. The project will be jointly managed by the Ministry of Infrastructure Development, Tanzania, and the Works and Transport Ministry in Uganda. The two countries signed a memorandum of understanding spelling out the respective obligations.